Hi guys, welcome to this video about how to create a schedule with the device plug so you can start a device at a certain time and stop the device at a certain time. So this is especially useful like for Christmas lights or I mean other lights or other things. So I'm using currently the two wise plugs which I have to turn on the lights and turn off the uh, Christmas lights. I mean in the front, in the backyard and this is how this works. It was not really easy but finally I have found. So here I have all my plugs and my cams. I have four cameras and I have two plugs. So when I want to schedule something I mean I can click on like it's the front yard so in the front I have a couple of lights I click on front here and there are two things here which I can start uh, without doing crazy things it's a timer but the timer is just a one-time thing so I can say okay turn it on in like two hours or turn it off in three hours something like that but that's it there's no more then you can also put it in a vacation mode but vacation mode means it's turning on and off uh, on its own like on a variable uh, base so it looks like somebody's at home uh, it, it does o does it automatically you don't have a chance to control and give it a, a schedule like a certain time and so we need something else unfortunately it's not on this page we have to click on settings here and here we have the st uh, plug status light schedule share device information of course it's schedule and automation so we can click on create rule if we already have one we can click on the plus sign it's the same thing here so we click on schedule and we can say what product uh, what we want to do something let's say we want to do uh, we want to set up the schedule for the front of the home and we want to turn it on of course so we say uh, we give it a name so it's easier especially if you have a lot of plugs it's much easier to control that when you have a certain name I say uh, front turn on 5.30 okay and now we give it a start time and yeah let's go hope we can do that 5 30 uh, p.m of course and save and now that's the thing here uh, usually you would be tempted to add an end time here so this green thing here uh, and I have been trying with that and it didn't work. It looks really tempting. Yeah, I mean, you have a start time and you have an end time, but obviously it does not work like this. You just have to give a start time and that's it. And you then you set another uh, schedule for end time. So I'm going to show that later. So I'm st I want to start the light every day at 5 30 so we have now all uh, every days uh, all days start time 5 30 we have the front of the home as device and so that's it we click on save so we have it now now we want to have it turned off at let's say uh, one o'clock in the morning so we give it another thing we go to schedule we click also the front and we say turn off here okay next and we say give it a name front turn off one uh, one a.m. something like that okay we do the start time it's again a start time it's a little bit confusing because it's actually a stop time but it's the start of the turn off I hope you get the point here 
so the event what we want to create is turn off and but we want to start this event at 1 a.m and we want to have this thing every day here and so let's save that now we have a front turn on at 5 30 every day and a turn off at 1 am every day so we can do the same thing with the next plug and so on and this is how it works don't do a turn on and turn off with the same uh, trigger or same schedule won't work it will cause all kind of problems i've been trying and uh, yeah it just didn't work so obviously this is the thing how it has to be done so i hope i was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time